May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass, let us now listen to the Word of God. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After the death of Saul, when David had returned from defeating the Amalekites, David remained two days in Ziklag. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp, with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. When he came to David, he fell to the ground and did obeisance. David said to him, Where have you come from? He said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. David said to him, How did things go? Tell me. He answered, The army fled from the battle, but also many of the army fell and died, and Saul and his son Jonathan also died. Then David took hold of his clothes and tore them, and all the men who were with him did the same. They mourned and wept, and fasted until evening, for Saul and for his son Jonathan, and for the army of the Lord, and for the house of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Your glory, O Israel, lies slain upon your high places. How the mighty have fallen, Saul and Jonathan, beloved and lovely. In life and in death they were not divided, they were swifter than eagles, they were stronger than lions. O daughters of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothed you with crimson, in luxury, who put ornaments of gold on your apparel. How the mighty have fallen in the midst of the battle, Jonathan lies slain upon your high places. I am distressed for you, my brother Jonathan, greatly beloved were you to me, your love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. How the mighty have fallen, and the weapons of war perished. The Word of the Lord Sing hallelujah to the Lord Hallelujah Sing hallelujah to the Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Mark. And the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you for listening to the readings and Gospel. May God bless us all.